pfcradio.com. Feeling so high. Yeah, Slow up that hydro. Hydro make me feel fine. Roll up that hydro. Hydro make me feel fine. Cook up that hydro. Hydro make me feel high. Feeling so high. Roll up that hydro. Hydro make me feel fine. Roll up that hydro. Hydro make me feel fine. Cook up that hydro. Hydro. All right, it's five o'clock. The kitchen's open. Welcome to Farm to Table Cannabis. I am your cannabis culinary ambassador for the next hour. Here talking about everything from gardening to cooking with cannabis to your everyday uh, cannabis news. And uh, we're here on DFZ Radio, the only show offering you cannabis reviews, cooking demos, and uh, prizes from our good sponsors over there at DFZ Radio's uh, Duff Free Zone. We've got Botanic Air. Good folks at General Hydroponics hooking us up, and your guys' favorite butter machine, the Magic Butter Machine, hooking you up. Call in now, 562-653. Phone lines are open. 562-653-0707. Going on now. So we got a good show for you today. We're lined up. I mean, first things first, we got to give a credit where credit's due. Today's medicated station is a... Medication station is brought to you by Mama Mara's Edibles. I don't know what I did to deserve such good treatment from her, but Mama Mara Edibles has got some of the finest home-cooked uh, cannabis confections. And uh, when I look at all these things, it just screams fall time. They're so uh, festive with their their candy corn and uh, carrot cake and candy apples. If that doesn't scream Halloween, then shit, man. Throw me in the gutter and call me it. So uh, we got a guest today and i'm gonna make you wait till after the first commercial break to talk to her but i'm gonna let her introduce herself right now and this is the cannabis high times top cannabis chef chef Gigi from cannabis concepts hey how are you guys doing today now we're not gonna let anyone get any answers out of you because we're gonna make them stick around but we got a full show with you and uh, we're gonna get your culinary cannabis questions answered by chef Gigi, the top cannabis culinary chef from high times and uh, that's no easy feat to get she uh she worked uh she worked that uh stage pretty hard to get that uh that trophy now and if you look on the camera now it's going to be displayed for the next hour so you you relish you relish in that you earn that darling so uh we like to start the uh, show off with some news we're here to keep everyone up to date on things and uh you know, I'm, we're going to try a little different. We're going to keep you up on two subjects because we talked about it last week, Saint. Now, remember talking about how they were getting the lobsters high before they served them <laughs> yeah, in Maine? Exactly. And yeah, And that shit was fucking hilarious. <laughs> well, it turns out the goddamn health inspectors didn't think that shit was too funny. <laughs> and they said, uh, Maine health inspectors said the food served to consumers at licensed eating places and that are affected by marijuana, as has been described with the establishment, is adulterated and therefore illegal. The New York Times reports. Man. The decision was made by the department because of the regulators do not currently have information on the health implications of the effects of sedating lobsters with marijuana i tell you what it's here's the effect they die a little more happy right? just like i mean uh, if you're gonna die a lobster and get boiled in some water i mean let's get smoked first but evidently the health inspector said no that's a big no bueno your your lobsters they can be rocked but they can't be stoned rock lobster so that shit blows me away so thc breaks down completely by 392 degrees therefore they say that they will uh, both steam as well as heat the process and will expose the meat to 420 degree extended temperature in order to ensure that there is no possible of carryover effect right. even though the likelihood of such would be literally impossible said the islander I'm not selling an edible, the guy says, as he smoked out his lobster. So we're going to try this. We're going to put this to the test. Um, eventually, I will do a rock lobster, I mean stone lobster dish. Hell and, yeah, uh, yeah that, that's, that's what's happening. I might have to fly to Maine right? and go, uh, go smoke some of their, or go eat some of their smoked yeah. lobster. Yeah. And uh, speaking of flying, the Los Angeles uh, International Airport dropped a bomb today everyone was going crazy on this yeah, one um that. now they released a statement regarding their policy of uh marijuana and uh, the lax airport 
And now it reads that while federal law prohibits the possession of marijuana exclusive to federal airspace, California passage of Prop 64 effectively on January 1st, 2018 allows for individuals 21 years of age or older to possess up to 28 and a half grams of marijuana and 8 grams of concentrated cannabis for personal consumption. In accordance with 64, the Los Angeles Airport Police Department will allow passengers to travel through LAX with up to 28.5 grams of cannabis with eight grams of concentrate. However, passengers should be aware that marijuana law is very state to state, and they encourage to check all laws and states in which they plan to travel. Well, now, I'm going that, home high. Yeah, see, <laughs> that shit's so crazy because we've all. I mean, let's talk about that for a minute. Saint, like, we want to take vacations. We've all been so tripped out because right. I want to go somewhere nice, but I know the weed's not going to be as nice as where that I'm from. Always sucks, right. you know. And I would love to try other places, tree, and I don't like to get snobby. I'll tr- I'll try your gas tank weed when I go to Mexico. <laughs> I'll try, I'll, I'll, I'll try your fucking uh, Vermont fucking uh, your Vermont um, um, tree ooze wax too. But <laughs> at the end of the day, man, ain't nothing like taking your good old medicine with you on a, on a flight. So exactly. if I go to the, the islands once a year for the company and go represent for the nutrient companies, and it's it's crazy having to go out there and not have your own tree. And now with LAX being so lax like that, I mean, dude, that's uh that's pretty cool and it's very big cool. step. Big commend to those. Uh, the I mean, I guess the LAX Police Department. They must yeah. have put this out because they got tired of dealing with the fucking exactly. questions. Like, hey, all right, look, dude, calm down, bro. Don't run. It's I'm just weird. I'm excited to go to the airport tonight. Now. Yeah, right. There you go. <laughs> so, um, watch when you fly, man. Come in, mm-hmm. even more of a reason to come to beautiful Southern California and stop by our our uh, very um, up to date in laws airport so fly high. there you go fly <laughs> high fly the skies high yeah. so uh, without further ado i'm about to bust open one of mama mary's edibles and um gg i'm gonna ask you like do you got a flavor over here that's screaming to you because Ooh, let, me, uh, let me look here you check this out there's candy Thank carrot you. cake and I, I like the carrot cake oh. one that's one of my favorites she does a that miss mama beautiful. mary does a carrot cake um cookie and she stuffs it with uh, the cream cheese filling you guys should see this this is gorgeous and all of these are made with a uh, coconut oil too cannabis infused coconut oil like and you want to talk yeah. about childproof packaging? I can't even open this shit. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have a little dinner on the radio here. We keep you up to date on cannabis news. We keep you up to date on cannabis infused, and uh, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. We're gonna come back and we're gonna talk uh, with Gigi from Cannabis Concepts, the yeah. top cannabis high time chef. Mm. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Mama Maras. I'm getting lit. Five six two six five three zero seven zero seven. DFZRadio.com. If you wanna catch a groove, wanna feel the siren vibe. I said just rock and come in, you know, I said the vibe is right. Yeah. So bring your queen, I tell you, say, fill out the machine tonight. Yeah. Cause it's a funky bag of party.
dfcradio.com. Launch crew, ready to reservoir. What's the load factor, sir? Bring in the riser blast liquid at two mils per gallon. Okay, sir. We are loaded and ready to launch. Ten, nine. Okay, eight, man. Seven, it's time to blast eight, off into the five, plant's root zone four, and into three, another galaxy two, of root growth. One. Rhizoblast is a proprietary blend of seaweed and the single-celled algae chlorella. Chlorella's abundance of amino acids and minerals contribute to its value in hydroponics. The benefits used in Rhizoblast are explosive root growth, the use with any growing medium or hydro system, its ideal use for transplanting, and the enhancement of your plant vigor in fast flowering plants. Let your plants have a blast and see a world of a difference with Rhizoblast from Botanicare. Check it out at www.botanicare.com. Yo, it's BKJ on Team King, and you're listening to DFZ Radio. What? DFZRadio.com Some things money can't buy. Like a girl who gon' keep it silent. Yeah. Like a girl who gon' keep it silent. Need me one who gon' hold it down when I'm in a drought. Need me one who gon' get this cash when I'm running out. I need me one who gon' love this life I'm living with no problem. Hoes talking down, but my baby got him. Need me one, need me one, need me one. I need me one, need me one, need me one. I need me one. All right, we're back in the studio, Farm to Table Cannabis. We got Chef Gigi in the building. Hey. So, man, I've traveled all the way from the Big D to California. Have you been to California before, Miss Chef Gigi? This is my first. Inter- <laughs> so, introducing cannabis concepts Cali to California. Right. That's what's up. That's right. And I'm so excited to be here. You have no idea. You know, everybody knows that California is, is the mecca. It's, it's, you know, it's, 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 where, it's where it all began. Have so. we shown you a good time so far? You've been here yes. 24 hours. Um, yes. ha- has the tree, how's the tree been to you? The tree has been wonderful. It's been beautiful. I've all been right. blessed with some fine-ass flowers. Now, what's, what's, what's the tree scene like out in Detroit? The tree scene is beautiful in Detroit, man. You know, Michigan. Has she ain't gonna so disrespect many, her hometown. So she is not gonna oh, say they grow some boo no. But you gotta understand, from Cali, from Cali people, people think like anything, basically east of uh, the California state line right. grows boo boo, which is right. not necessarily true. <laughs> so, true, uh, Detroit. You know, stand up for your city. Well, what are some of the strains out in your area that are popular oh right now? God. Okay, well we got Dosey Face, we got Skittles. Those I are mean, popular you know, out here too. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, is that diesel always popular still? Uh, diesel's, you know, it's, it's we kind of got over diesel a little bit, you know. We, we're still hanging like, on to it a little bit. Why settle for the butter when you can margarine when you can have butter? That's right. I mean, you know, <laughs> honestly, uh, Michigan does have some wonderful, wonderful growers, beautiful extractors, edible artists. I mean, it's out there doing its thing. I think really, it's it's it's, it's a slept on place. I wish more people would come and see because. So many people are out there um, innovating and doing so many creative things with the edibles, with, with you know, breeding their own strains, flower, things like that. You know, of course, the diamonds, all, all of the good so stuff. So how, how long ago was it that you guys actually got, like, the, the diamonds in your area? Like, did you actually see the sauce and diamonds? The, and people were talking about concentrates, not, okay, not well, wet and rings. Know, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little high now, so, you know, don't, you know, don't. Put her on the spot, but, yeah, no, I hear you. <laughs> I got, because we were smoking um, sauce the second she walked in the studio. I'm going to have to say, like, about, like, a year and a half ago. Within the last year? Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, it's like, we really try, you know, we love Cali, so it, it's like Cali's like a sister to us, way, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. And, we, and you know, we we always looking at Cali. Shout to out see what's to Detroit on. for doing it the right way. Hey, you know, the D baby is where is that? So, how did this get started for you? How did you get into cooking with cannabis? I mean, you say there's a scene for the edibles out there, and I mean, it's it, it's funny how things fall together for people. So, where, what got started with you? Was it cooking first, or were you getting high first? Oh my God! Well, 
again, I'm high, so I can't really. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I'm just uh, honestly, it's it's a it's love for both. You know, a love for cannabis and what it does, the respect to the medicinal properties of cannabis, and then food. You know, food as well. I've always enjoyed cooking. I've always enjoyed catering to people and and making people happy. And when you have good food and good weed, and you put the two together, people are gonna be happy oh, as hell. You said so. it, uh, <laughs> dig it. I respect the heck out of that. So, um. When it comes to, uh, like, what's your preferred method? Is it smoking or uh, wax, or is it just... Okay, well, I like a little bit of all three. I like oh. to dab, I like to smoke, and then I like to eat a little something. I mean, you know, it, I'm going I'm to smoke some weed, and then I'm going to want to do a dab, and then I'm going to get the munchies, so I'm going to go eat some edibles, and then I'm going <laughs> to get high again. It's, just, it's, it's a cycle that keeps So is that what itself. Cannabis Concepts is about? Is that... Um, is that your, uh, your, your the way you market it? Is it, is it more like flowers and edibles, or is cannabis concepts mainly uh, cooking catering? Well, it's it's the concepts of cannabis. It's, it's it covers everything. That's why I named it cannabis concepts because we want to be known for every aspect of cannabis. We we try to touch on every aspect. Everything is grown in home. So yeah. that's a cool thing. You actually source your own ingredients that's by right. growing your own ingredients. Going to get a round grow. of applause for that. Yes. That's huge because a lot of people out here preach about cooking with cannabis. Not a lot of people are growing and actually living the farm to table life. So no. that's why we like to put a very, spotlight very on people like you. About that. Very strict about that. So what are the kind um, I mean, cause what's the grow scene like when it comes to growing in um, Detroit? I mean, I know the laws aren't exactly um, up to par with some of the other areas, but you, you, you are able to grow six plants in your home or is it? 12 per person. <laughs> Yeah, it's California in the fucking nineties. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So nice. <laughs> come out to beautiful Michigan. See our wonderful lakes, our twelve plant count. And right? you're right next to Canada. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. But no, it's it's you know and that's but that's per person in in your household, so you know. You you gotta do the hookup. You, know, you got like five, six kids, you know what I'm saying? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, foster, gotta, like foster kids and shit. He's like, <laughs> exactly. my name's Darnell. I'm 17 and a half. All Motherfucker's right. 18 with a cannabis license. What the <laughs> fuck is he still doing living here? It's, it's a spare room. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So, um, when it comes to uh, your style of cooking, where do you get your influence from? Well, I get my influence basically from my background, you know, uh, being a Viencense, a, a multicultural person. Like I said, my father is from Vieques, and he has Afro-Caribbean influences, and my mother as well, you know, being Mexicana in India, you know, she has those influences on me. So you've and really got, got a lot you got a lot going on with like the the you could draw inspiration from. Yeah, I'm a little Caribbean cocktail, yes. Oh, I dig we, it. We have the, the Afro-Caribbean cultural cuisine you know, from St. Croix, St. Thomas, and then we have the Viencense cuisine, which is really indigenous with the arepas, the mofongo. And then, of and course, I saw we, some of those dishes on yeah. your on your Instagram. If you're not following her, it's cannabis underscore concepts. And I mean, Give the me food on there is the truth. So you do mofongo yourself? We do mofongo, and then we also do five course beautiful gourmet five star dinners as well. I mean, we do everything from your risotto to your mofongo to your lamb chops to your ribs and your mac and cheese. I mean, whatever it is you can think of, pretty much we got you covered. Now, did this um, did this come because of your competition in the uh, High Times Top Cannabis Chef competition, or was this a lot of this going on before the competition? All this was going on before. See, this so this was all training and leading this, up to that. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And and I'm I'm really grateful to uh, Big J at OMS Dab House. Um, he gave me the platform and the stage to really get my game together. So when I stepped up on that High Times stage, I knew exactly what I had to do. Right on. Now we're gonna get to that in a minute but we're uh we're gonna put you through the gauntlet now and we're gonna ask you some of the uh you know the the infusion techniques and stuff that you like to do so what is your preferred um method of infusing my preferred method of infusing is either using distillate or rso and that depends upon the person and you know what it is they're trying to achieve you now know, i've I never cooked with R rso or rick simpson oil really? um no and that's you that's unique that you say that because hardly anyone ever comes on the show and says that so that are now my serious? my ear my you ears gotta are, come to michigan yeah baby. my ears are super <laughs> percolated to that because that i mean that's got the best reputation exactly. next to like cbd for the uh relieving properties for real true medicated that is ex so that, tell that's me that's why i use it with the rick simpson oil 
in the um, process, is it more taste? Can you taste it more in the food? Or You know, that depends if you season or don't season your food. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she, she said like that. But, um, yeah, you know, what I really try to do is not highlight the taste of the cannabis. I try to really highlight the taste of the food, and you don't really notice the taste of the cannabis. Because they pair well together. Exactly. So what are some of those um, Caribbean flavors that really, uh, I guess, pair well with some of the herby flavors from cannabis? Well, again, like I said, with the RSO, we try to use it to where you don't really taste it. In the distillate, we make sure it's raw. So Completely have, no yeah, flavor, There's huh? no flavor. So I, there's only times that I try to highlight the, the flavor of cannabis is maybe in baking and when I'm using butter. And that depends on when I'm using things that are, have a nuttier uh, uh-huh. background flavor. Okay. Then I'll use a cannabis butter that has, um, you know, the cannabis taste because it has a nuttier taste. So it won't really ruin the component that I'm cooking. Like if I do a, did a risotto. I would definitely use some cannabis. Because it's got that, ni- that nice nuttiness exactly. to it. Exactly, and, and it won't overpower the, the food. Yeah. Right, it won't over the taste. Won't you know? It won't. It won't kill the taste. So no, we got a caller calling in right now. Um, I'm not even gonna make him wait, Saint. I'm just gonna go straight to the board. DFZ Radio, thanks for calling in. You're on live with the Hydro Chef and Chef Gigi, the top cannabis chef. Hey, this is. Crispy treats, Carla. How hey, are you doing? Carla, how are you doing, baby girl? Good. Went straight to the Sweet straight heart. to live. She's she's killing it. She in the middle of an interview. You, <laughs> how you were you calling I out of hometown? I haven't been listening. I somehow I can't download it on my phone. But oh, I wanted yeah. to send a shout out because you got the best chef there ever. We Thank do. You, we got baby. the High Times top cannabis chef certified. Now, uh, you're calling out of Detroit right now. I'm calling actually I'm in Florida. Ah, well, okay. She got love yeah. from all over the map, That's all over right. the map. So, global what, baby, what's the scene like that out there? Are you you doing your own growing out there in Florida? How? No, I live in Michigan. <laughs> Ah, you didn't see. That's oh, the only only safe go. place to do your garden is in Michigan or California nowadays, huh? Yeah. So, uh, do you do your own garden out there in Michigan? Oh, my dad does. Yeah. Ah, uh, all right. So we're gonna hook you up for calling in and talking to Chef Gigi today. We just uh, did. You have any questions for Chef Gigi or about cooking with cannabis or or are you, gardening? Are you making sure you're having a good time out there, Gigi? I am having a wonderful time. I am very happy to be here. This is this is a wonderful opportunity and one of the best decisions I've made thus far. Well, we like to spotlight, Love you know, it. the people yeah. doing it for the right reasons. And you know, you it didn't is. just get into this by accident. You mentioned you like yeah. to get into this to help people. And when you got yes. good cannabis and good food, and you put them together, it's a no brainer. That's why you got good people like this calling in. So we appreciate you calling in. Give your name again. Carla, Christy Call- Treats Kitchen. All right, and we appreciate you calling in, Carly, and we're going to hook you up with a sample right now of our Floralicious Plus from our good sponsors over there at General Hydroponics. It's a uh, six products in one, essentially amino acid, B vitamins, humic acid for nutrient uptake, sea kelp for plant vitality. You get all of those in one bottle, concentrated, most cost-effective nutrient in the industry, and you can hook dear old dad up with that just for you calling in on the Farm to Table Cannabis Show with Chef Gigi and Thank Hydro you. Chef. Love you, Chef Gigi. All right, love you too, dear. Thank you. Hey, you're killing it, girl. I'm chopped. I'm chopped <laughs> liver food next to you. That's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> That's right. Thank you for calling in. So you got love all over the market, right there. That's nice from Florida Thank and everything you. all the Thank way you. over. So it's no coincidence you're at where you're at. You're doing it all for the right reasons. And uh, for everyone listening, we're about to come back in a second and talk to her about her top cannabis chef high times victory that is no small feat i competed in the competition myself and i got my butt kicked (laughs) and i learned a lot from it and uh we're going to talk to her after this commercial break and we'll talk about some floralicious plus during the floor commercial break 562-653-0707 we still got that butter machine to give away call us we so high smoking up the time rolling up the time Chopping up the top, the top, yeah. We so high, so high. Smoking up the top, the top. Rolling up the top, the top. Chopping up the top, the top, yeah. 
It's your girl Justina Valentine, and I'm rocking out with the Saint 562. Let's go. Word. Hi, and welcome to Nonspecific Hydro. Yeah, hey, I have a buddy of mine that was telling me about a great additive. Okay, do you remember the name? Uh, yeah, his name's Steve. He's a good buddy. No, no, the product. No, he told me it was a super concentrated organic enhancer. Comes in a yellow bottle. Well, it sounds like he's talking about Florilicious Plus from General Hydroponics. I don't think that was the name, but he also told me it was a vegan bioplant stimulator that contained vitamins, plant sugars, amino acids, seaweed extract. Yeah, that would be General Hydroponics Florilicious Plus. I don't think that's it, man. He told me it was something like Dora Vicious Flush or something, and he said it was like an organic supplement that could also be used in vegging or flowering and that was compatible with hydro soil and cocoa. Yes, that would be General Hydroponics Florilicious Plus. Oh, hey, man. I just remembered what it's called. It's Florilicious Plus. Oh, good. I was drawing a blank. Florilicious Plus from General Hydroponics. Ask for it by name. DFCRadio.com Yeah. 
Radio's Farm to Table Canvas. I am the Hydroponic Chef, your cannabis culinary ambassador. We got a magical butter machine to give away. We got some callers calling in. Hold on one second. We'll say answers your call. But uh, right now in the studio, we got hey. High Times Top Cannabis Chef, Chef Gigi What's going from on, Cannabis Kelly? Concepts. Let me pass you the blunt. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. All right. So uh, talk about it. Because you won the Tana, the High Times Top Cannabis Chef competition, yeah. that was the Midwest version. That was yes. at the uh, that was at when it was at the racetrack, right? Yes, at the Clio uh, racetrack. How hot was it out there to be cooking in the heat like that? Are you <gasps> fucking crazy? Well, it was it, it was it was intense. Of course, you already know because you were in the competition. Yeah, but that was San Bernardino and uh, or maybe it was uh, up in Santa Rosa in the winter time. It, you it, were in the summertime. That was no, some no. Heat. Actually, it was in the, um it was in the fall. Ah, and, okay. Yeah, it was in September. So well, speaking of fall. Fall. Who fell? Who do you remember who your competition was? I had a couple different people, of course. You I had, had two rounds. Yep. So and it was a four round competition, head to head, chef That's to right. chef. Every time you'd have to come back the next day That's right. and compete again two times in one day. And you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what's you know, they you don't know say, what the hey, food's coming at open you. Open your basket or, or they just pick a, a random right there as you're standing there, just pick a random, you know, food. Here, Italian, American. Cook this. <laughs> right. And then you just have to go and find the ingredients, you know, get them before your competitor does and start with what you're, with yeah. what, what you're doing. They don't so give you any chance, of course, like to think of what you want. No, they want to hit you on the That's spot. Right. So it's, then It's that, just it, like any other professional show that you see on television right. when, they, when they tell people to you know, go open your basket. You have 30 minutes. We had 30 minutes to get it done, and we had to cook something wonderful and beautiful you know and, and, and upscale it just couldn't you just couldn't throw anything on a plate obviously no so right and that you it. had to go and um, draw from some of your technique and your experiences now does that come from culinary school like, are you did you hard knock it how did you do this well it came it came from growing up being in restaurants and then again like i said um with the with the whole like performance aspect of it again uh being at the oms dab house mm -hmm. really helped me because I'm there. I'm like uh, right there in the corner on this like little uh, little stage, I guess you could kind of say. And it's, it's it's a little booth, but everybody can kind of see it. And, and they were just pumping you up, huh? And yeah, and you know, when you got and, a crowd to get behind you, it kind of inspires you, that's huh? That's right. And and to do that, you know, that live cooking there, like every week I was live cooking for for crowds of people. So that really helped prepare me um, to do the high times cooking show because to get on that stage, I know that was a lot of people's. Uh, you know, their downfall was the fact that they really haven't hadn't had that type of experience and mm. live cooking for people every week. It, Being comfortable in front of the camera exactly. and doing shit like that, too, because yeah. the whole thing's filmed. They don't realize that you're not just cooking right. in front of peers right. and an audience. There's it's filmed. And you have it's to going be, you know, on. It, it, especially if you're trying, you know, you want to market yourself. So you have to be aware of these things at all times and still pull that out, you know, pull it off and, and succeed. Well, so. let's get into the food. What would you do the very first um, day? The first day, your, first, your competition, you open up the basket. What the fuck you got? Oh God! Well, they I think they picked Italian, mm -hmm. and I was just like, okay, well, you know, and of course they had like the, the pastas and everything there, and I'm looking to see what you know everybody's going to grab, and I went ahead and I made a delicious um, uh, a dish with the uh, cannabis white wine reduction. It, it was. And Alfredo, it was amazing. What shaped noodles was it? Then the, the flat noodles or the spaghetti noodles? I or? did, I did the fettuccine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. And they infuse it with butter, or was it olive oil? What? We had olive oil. Yeah, yes, we had olive makes oil. sense Virgin, for Italian, yeah. don't it? Was that the pot de wee? Excuse me. Was that the was that the olive oil from pot de wee, or was it yes, just some? Yes, yeah, oh, I, I believe yeah. so. Yeah, the French guys, uh, French name out of San Francisco. Shout out to um, Yannick. So. Um, the next day, so you win All the right. first day, obviously, because right. you, you, you get to stick around to the next day. The, the judges loved your food. You wowed the crowd. So what happened the next day? This is where shit gets, this is when shit goes oh down. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so the next day, again, you know, and I'm, Chef Rachel Shiz was a phenomenal chef. I mean, she gave, she gave, it, she gave it everything, and, you know. Um, 
what 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 theme did they choose that day? I believe that day, uh, I, I want to say it was either a Mexican or a freestyle or what was ever left in the pantry type of thing. It and you like, went to your roots. It, it was like, yeah, it was like, do it was, uh, you know, do whatever's left in the refrigerator type of deal. You do it the hodgepodge. And, you know, um, a, a while ago I used to cook for for children and we used to have to basically at, at this uh, school that I used to work at and I had to make things basically out of nothing to feed like 28 kids. So, oh, so you they, were like, when they told throw it me, at me. That's when they told me to do the hodgepodge. I mean, my children, they used to love it. They'd be like, oh, we're still just, oh, cook this. We, we know you're going to do phenomenal with this. So when they said hodgepodge, I right away I just went ahead and I made some um, shrimp Diablo nachos. That, oh, shit. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Yeah, and the, ju- the judges <laughs> were like, yeah, this chick gets it. And how did you infuse it? With, with with the olive oil, Again? actually, yes. Okay, because yep, you can yep. thin in, out your in, in cheese sauce. sauce. yes. Boom, bang, yes. done. Amazing. You hear that fierce. So from here, the High Times Top Cannabis Chef, she said, it's okay to thin out some cheese with some oil and put it on your nacho. Nice. That's right. That's all right. right. So, um, it's all in the sauce, baby. So you win, and the judges, the judges, what was the other, what was uh, the other chef's uh, dish? She had a beautiful uh, French vanilla, French vanilla bean crepe. Oh wow! It was a dessert. Yeah, I mean, I guess she went hard. She went hard. I mean, this this was not, you know, oh, you know, knock it out of the box. Slap something together. Yeah, you were up against some stiff competition, like a UFC fight. Yes, I was. And you were under Rousey. That hey, you know, I had to. Um, Now, after this win, I bet opportunities are throwing themselves at you left and right after that. Well, you see, I'm here talking to you, right? Ah, yeah, that's right. You you definitely put us on your radar because um. We uh, we we see all those top high time top cannabis chefs from Brandon Allen to uh, Edibles by Marcus who beat me yeah. and uh, you know oh. and Miss Chef Gigi too and uh, we got to we got to give a shout out to all our other uh, hydroponic and cannabis infused chefs yes. out there with, you, you know that inspire us to do our thing the but um. What is it? What's now? Is it a is it is it a brand? Is it an edible? Is it a it, what's what's next for uh, cannabis concepts? And where can people catch you vending well, and try some of your awesome food? At this point, the sky's the limit, and you Chef can, Mama Maris has got me high right now. I'm, I'm high. I can high I can feel that edible kicking in. Yes, yes. Uh, but you can catch us. Uh, basically, you know, if if you anybody wants a dinner, please hit me up. We do private parties, catering, and all of these things all of the time. We also have dinners that we do. Twice a month in Detroit with the uh, Cannabis Council. Uh, ah. Shout out to Matt Abel and the team over there, and shout out to Breaking Fractions and to Joanna over here in Santa Monica that hooked me up today as well. Hell yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> Fucking a. So um, we got someone's calling in. They want to ask a question. It could be gardening. It could be cooking. Let's find out. All right. You're on the line with uh, the hydroponic chef and Chef Gigi. Hello. 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 Hey, hello. How's it going? <laughs> Thanks for calling in, man. Uh, state state your name. Where are you calling from? Uh, yeah, I'm John Moorhead from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, I was just wondering, what's your uh, favorite strain to uh, to use when you're cooking? What tastes the best, and what uh, you know what gives you the best buzz? I'm gonna jump in one for my personal one, just because I like I like to do things um, you know particular way when, when I'm cooking with. But I, I like yeah. I like to like that. Um, Vanilla, y musky flavor that like a gorilla glue will give uh, you when you cook with yeah. glue, and I know it's heavy and I can control it, and it's pretty consistent every time it's grown. So I go with things that are consistently the same flavor. Those are usually mm-hmm. some of those top strains. Um, but nice. to each person their own, you might want to go with something citrusy. You know, maybe you want no flavor at all, or maybe you're cooking brownies, you want something real earthy. Right, right. So go and what what would you do, Miss Gigi? Well, again, it all depends upon the dish. Like earlier, we were talking about uh, tangy, and you know that is wonderful. And like an orange marmalade, anything that, anything that would pick up, you know, the terpenes and the flavor in the bud. As far as like what dish you're trying to make, so. But I do like to use um, a lot of indica uh, strains. I, I like a more of a relaxing effect for the food. I like that. Okay, I dig it. Because um, so many people are focused on keeping their guests awake and shit during the meal. You know, right. it's nice. It's nice to be able to actually have a chef that wants to get people no, over you know, sedated no, and relaxed. We actually, we, you know, we actually do that with the ambiance as well. I mean, we like everything nice and dimly lit, and candles and a nice sesh before the meal. It, it's really about relaxation and enjoying your environment and your company. Now, what kind of food are you thinking about cooking, John? From uh, Michigan. Well, actually, I was just—I uh, was just curious. I mean, 
I've uh, been using uh, Cali O, which is uh, relative to Tangy. But oh yeah, yeah that's a no, classic that's strain a... that takes it back to the early the early two thousands for <laughs> me, right there. That, yeah. Yes, we yeah, love that Cali O. Absolutely, I've been growing that for like fifteen years. So yeah, it's a, it's a classic. Oh, <coughs> excuse me, as I hit the blunt while I'm talking to you. What are you smoking <laughs> on this evening, John? Um, actually, some chocolate diesel. Oh, no. he brought out That's the he good, brought out huh? the good ones for us. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to you don't want to cook with that one. That one's too nice <laughs> to throw in some butter, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, well, John, yeah. we're going to hook you up with a, a magical butter machine from our good friends over at Magical Wonderful. Butter. Yeah, yeah we appreciate awesome. you calling in, man. We're going to get that shipped out to you in Michigan. And then uh, you can cook with some of your favorite uh, your favorite oils, your favorite butters, and the Magical Butter machine. Those guys are awesome. Go follow them at Magical Butter. And uh, you see us doing our thing on DFC Radio and uh, at the Hydroponic Chef. So go send me your um, information, and I'll get that mailed out to you through the Magical Butter guys. Okay, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm uh, the Growing Rack online, so I'll uh, I'll DM you on there. Dude, perfect. Right. Appreciate you reaching out, yeah. man. And uh, who's hooking you appreciate up every it. Wednesday night with the top uh, edible brands and the top advice in the industry? Wah, wah, wah. You are. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. You really yeah, saved it, brother. You really saved it. It's cool. It's that chocolate that's diesel. That, that's that chocolate delay. diesel live radio. <laughs> All right, my dude. We're going to send that out to you. Peace. Okay. Right on. That was so, a buzzer beater. That was too. He was like, beep, <laughs> uh, <boom."> yeah. <laughs> so I like to uh, thank the homie over at Snoop Dogg Nutrients with his blunt right here. This is Snoop's, uh, premium. Snoop's premium grown. Mm, shit is fire too. And the real original OG Hydro Pimp. I like how they have the glass tips on them ready to go on there. Yeah, you ain't even got to struggle to yeah. smoke it. Ding, ding, ding. The bell is rung. Hydro Chef approved. So uh, we're in the studio getting faded. We're going to... Uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break again. We're going to pay a bill. We're going to come back and talk about an upcoming event this Friday that Cannabis Catered Events throwing. And uh, you can get involved, too. Just check out the link in my bio. We'll go over it when we come back. DFZRadio.com. Smoking the best, no stress cheese. No stress cheese. Now hold up, hold up, now roll up, roll up. Check the situation, about to go nuts. go nuts. With a little bit of perk up in my cup, you can tell the bartender to fill it on up. That's alright, baby, work your stuff. And that's all night, baby, work your strike. You and your friends can ride when I go. Take a little spin in my mind to Kylo. Take a little dip, baby. Show you how I roll. Take a little hit, big thump on the hydro. Eyes so lit, make me look like my eyes closed. Purple drink mix, make me look like my eyes glow. Hip, no great goose with a little great juice. That's how it is, so I'ma have to take side diesel in my blood. Purple drink in my cup, someone tell the DJ. Crank it, crank it on up. Side diesel in my blood. Purple drink in my cup, someone tell the DJ. Crank it, crank it on up. Crank it up, crank it, crank it on up, crank it up. Sour diesel up in my blood, my blood. Purple drink up in my cup, my cup. Crank it up, crank, crank it on up. It's the ADX team with no God in between. And we stay fresh and clean when we hop on the scene. And we style on the style on the file on the DFCRadio.com. This is Canna Chef Jen, and you're listening to DFC Radio Farm to Table Cannabis with the Hydroponic Chef. Have you ever been interested in gardening with dry fertilizers? Well, you're not the only one, and let me tell you about Vermin Crop Organics and their line of organic dry fertilizers. Healthy plants with a simple four step process. Step one. Just measure out a half teaspoon per gallon of soil or two cups per 12 square feet of soil surface area. Step two, apply evenly to the soil surface. Step three, blend into the top layer of soil to avoid caking. Step four, water thoroughly. 
And that's it, simple as that. Great for vegetables, fruits, flowers, potted plants, trees, shrubs, annuals, and perennials. It's Vermicrop Organics Vermi Veg 744. Along with the Vermi Bloom and PK Boost, you will have a complete line of organic nutrients and a garden that will thank you with a great harvest. Looking for an even simpler way? Then check out the Vermi All 666. This game-changing mix is formulated for all stages of growth in the fast-paced garden of champion vegetable and flower growers. And check out the Vermi Bat Guano Fertilizer and the Vermi Blood Blood Mill Fertilizer for feeding oversized, nitrogen-hungry plants. Learn more at vermicrop.com. That's vermicrop.com. Yo, it's BKJ on Team King, and you're listening to DFZ Radio. What? Yeah, this is Rudy with Cannabis Catered Events, and you're listening to DFC Radio, Farm to Table Cannabis with the Hydroponic Chef. Hey guys, this is Alice Moon. I'm sending some major love to the Hydroponic Chef. He did an epic job at the High Times Cook-Off, so go follow him. I don't, you know, I'm high now. <laughs> sending some love, 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 love. DFCRadio.com. This is Mark with Cannabis Supper Club, and you're listening to DFZ Radio, Farm to Table Cannabis with the Hydroponic Chef. This is a young eel from Dutch. Per got me fired up. He got me fired up. Kush got me fired up. He got me fired up. Let go. Dun, dun, dun. Fucking fired up. Got me lit. Mama Mare's got me fired up. How you feeling, Saint? Fired up. <laughs> Miss Gigi, how you feeling, Chef Gigi? I'm feeling lit. I just, I just pounded a piece of pizza while you guys wasn't paying attention. I'm Shots popping my peas. Dooney Kush right there. Dooney Kush with the fucking lyrics and the beats. You yeah, know, it's out. a hard job bringing you all these awesome names, but somebody's got to do it. DFZ Giddy. Radio Saints got you covered. Get it. So we want to tell you about an upcoming event this Friday. It's a shame you won't be sticking around, Chef Jenny. I mean, Chef uh, Gigi, because this is going down. Uh oh. We got the cannabis catered events, Bites Two, going to be located in Bel Air. We got six chefs with uh, two plates of gourmet bites. Yeah. We've got a uh, awesome cannabis catered events sponsoring the thing. So Chef Rudy will Wonderful. be putting out his awesome food. We've got Canna Chef Jen throwing down. You got me, yours truly, the hydroponic chef throwing oh. bows in the kitchen. <laughs> Left-handed infusions will be chopping up some sushi, awesome. and none other than Cannabis Supper Club, the fucking all-star in the team, coming and showing face, is going to be throwing down and showing us Great. all a thing or two. So you can get hooked up. Every every dish is going to be paired with cannabis, so it's not going to be infused. It's going to be paired. So you can do safe smoking area, awesome. cool place to be, good people. Some celebrities are going to be attend because it's Bel Air, and you know those fuckers always try to get in there Bel and get Air. in the cannabis industry wearing their suit and ties. But uh, come on through. Bites too, cannabis catered events. Get hooked up, try some plates, get hooked up, get high, and uh, talk about some cannabis catered events. DFZ Radio, hooking you up in my link in my bio. I was just gonna keep going until you stop the music. <laughs> I, I got the point. So, uh, Chef Gigi, it's been yes. an amazing um, opportunity to get to talk to you and get high with you and wrap Thank wrap you. wrap your brain. Um, about your cannabis cooking techniques, and uh, what's the next event you're going to be at? Actually, we have a dinner coming up in um, Genesee County, and it is going to be s Sunday, September 30th. Uh, please join us. Uh, and what, what's what's going to be the food on the menu for that one? Um, we're going to be featuring salmon and a apple pie uh, moonshine sauce. Apple nice. pie moonshine? Yes. Damn, now you're speaking my language. Are you getting a little cross-faded there? Yeah, we're, we're going to do an infused apple pie moonshine. What do you think What do you think about that? Like the fact that in, the, uh, in, in California <laughs> you can't even infuse cannabis and uh, alcohol together. Uh, you know. Um, for us, huh? For, yeah, that's right. This, this is why you need to come to Michigan. There's our invitation. <laughs> yeah. So we were talking about the, uh, the uh, Bites 2, the uh, upcoming event. 
by Cannabis Catered Events, and uh, my me- my menu for this week's uh, food demo is going to be the farm to table pizza, and this is a, a cannabis infused pizza that I'm going to make for you right now, and uh, you can sit back as a quick little demo, and uh, we'll come back and do a sign off and uh, find out what's next for you in the world of cannabis concepts. Sounds good. Smoke this in my bitch, you a shape shield. I'm so turned up, turned up when I burn out. You know I'm about to burn up. Go ahead and roll a pipe up. This shit be the truth, like I'm smoking on some journal. I'm fired up. Baby mama got me tied up. But I ain't tripping when she gets the sip and she'll fall asleep and I'm wired up. DFC Radio. Table Cannabis, the hydroponic chef's going to bring you another cannabis infused meal. This week on the menu, we've got a cannabis infused pizza that we're going to do a French take on an Italian classic. We got some CV Daily Eats cannabis infused olive oil, some French camembert cheese, and some fresh vegetables and herbs from the garden. We've got some leeks and some sage, some pancetta, and some store bought apples, and some pizza dough. We're going to take all these flavors, pull them together for a French pizza. Hydroponic Chef approved on our pizza prep for this cannabis infused pizza pie. We've got some store bought pizza dough. We're going to just put a little flour on the board and we're going to let this rise for about 30 minutes. While this is rising, we're going to get started on our vegetable prep and we're going to talk about some hydroponic gardening and some of the nutrients we use while growing. For this pizza, we've got some vegetables and some ingredients that we're going to chop up. We've got some leeks. These have a great herbaceous flavor. You just take off the bottoms and you really only want to get a thin quarter inch below the greens. Everything else is probably a little bit too bitter. So we're gonna cut up about a quarter cup of these. And then we're gonna get chopping up some beautiful sage. Now this sage and cannabis is such a good pairing of flavors. Sage, it's got that herbaceousness along with that woody scent. And uh, we're just gonna chop this real roughly. And these herbs were grown in our garden using biomarine sea squid. And the sea squid has got one of the highest plant building proteins out of any animal in the sea kingdom. So you could grind up a shark, you could grind up a turtle, you could grind up the Loch Ness Monster and not get as many amino acid building proteins that are available in the humble squid. So we use that when growing our herbs, high in nitrogen, good amino acids, great to use. And we're also gonna cut up some of these Granny Smith apples. They got that nice tartness it's gonna go nice with that creamy cheese and that savory pancetta. So let's get some of this apple and we're just gonna slice it up into little half rounds. And we're gonna place that on the pizza and drizzle some of that beautiful CB Daily Eats cannabis infused olive oil on there. And that's gonna really pull this dish together and bring out some of those medical qualities that you get out of that olive oil. So finish cutting up some of these apples, nice and thin, thin it to win it. Then we're gonna take that pizza dough, we're gonna press it out, and we're gonna fire up the stove top and get that pancetta rendering out some of that fat and get that ready to top on the pizza. Preheated to 475, it's better to cook that pizza at a high temperature. For the stove top, we're gonna set it at medium high heat. We're gonna get two tablespoons of the CB Daily Eats cannabis infused olive oil, and we're also gonna throw in our pancetta. Now we're gonna let this get going. We're gonna render some of that fat out just until it's almost finished, then we'll pull it off the stove top and we'll pull all our flavors and toppings and put them on top of the pizza. Our fat rendering out of the pancetta, this is gonna give us enough time to start our pizza dough. We're gonna spin that out classic style and we're gonna put it in the oven at 475, top it with our beautiful farm fresh ingredients for a cannabis infused CBD tree. Pizza dough balled up, we're gonna put a little flour down and now using the ball of your hand, you're gonna press out the edges and spin your hand just until you get this lump in the middle. Now you see this lump, this is where you're gonna press down, you're gonna pick it up in your hand, you're gonna give it a toss back and forth, stretching it just a little bit, holding it by the edge, and now you can give it a spin. Give it a little more stretch so you don't get a oval pizza, and then there you go. Perfectly round every time. And we're gonna sprinkle just a drizzle on the entire crust. 
This is gonna help bring out some of that color, and it's also gonna bring out some of those medical qualities, which is why you watch this show. Hydroponic Chef approved. Now we're gonna take some of that cannabis infused olive oil, give it a drizzle, and the important part is you wanna get the edges because that's gonna help darken up the outside. Get those browned up nicely. Now let's start topping these pizza pies. The pancetta is done, we can smell that flavor. We've got these camembert French cheese, the sage, the apples, and the leeks. Let's pull all these flavors together with the CD Daily Heat for a cannabis infused pizza. Every other pizza, you start with the cheese. We're gonna get some of this beautiful camembert on there. From here, we're gonna put on our, our leeks, and the leeks are gonna have that savory flavor. Sprinkle some of these leeks on there, and then some of the pancetta. And don't forget that beautiful apple. It's gonna be tangy, cheesy, herby, and then we'll top it off with some sage right before it comes out of the oven. Let's finish up this other one. Cheese. We've got the camembert. We're gonna strategically line that around the outside of the cheese. That's all gonna melt in. And then next, we're gonna add the leeks. And that's gonna get a nice flavor with the herbaceousness. It's gonna go really nice with these apples. We'll get those apples strategically laid on there. Then we're gonna to top this off with some pancetta and a little bit more sage. Tiny bit. Pizzas are gonna cook really quick. After the pizza comes out of the oven, we're gonna put a little bit of balsamic vinegar, drizzle over the top. That'll bring all those sweet and savory, herbaceous flavors together. Let's put these pizzas in the oven. One the pizza pie. Two a pizza pie. Twelve minutes or until they're bubbly and golden brown. You know when a pizza's done. Let's finish this up. Pull these flavors together. Cannabis infused pizza, farm to table cannabis. You know, for about 15 minutes, the edges are nice and golden brown. Let's pull that out. We're gonna transfer that to our cutting board. And let's give it some slices. Nice, manageable slices. Then your very own magical butter machine. Comment on this week's recipe section which is our French style pizza with the camembert cheese and the CB Daily Eats cannabis infused olive oil. Comment, tell me, what would you cook with your own magic butter machine? And you can win just for watching Farm to Table Cannabis on dfzradio.com. Yeah, so that's a pizza pie, and you can catch that pizza pie. Mmm, it sounds delicious. Oh. And yeah, it's going down. So, um, you can catch that pizza, and we're going to be doing a lot of uh, food at uh, the Cannabis Catered Events. Bites 2. Part 2. Going to be going down September 28th, on Friday, September 28th. We'll have six chef stations, two plates Ooh. each, cannabis paired delicious. dishes. You're going to be able to talk to the chefs. You're going to be able to learn about cooking with cannabis and dosing responsibly. And it's going down. Cannabis Catered Events, Bites 2, featuring the Hydro Chef, Cannabis Chef Jen. we got Chef Rudy going in there, Cannabis Supper Club. We've also got Left Handed Infusions throwing it down. So check it out. The link's in my bio. Cannabis Catered Events, Bites 2. Wow, sounds like fun, guys. It's going to be a fun event. I'm yeah, looking forward to it, definitely. serving up that pizza. So, um... Yeah. What's uh what's on the menu for you when you get first thing when you get back to Detroit? First thing when I get back to Detroit, um, I have to go ahead and do the logistics of the dinner Sunday and you know I catch up on everything that I've you know been missing out the last day or two. Um, you know I, I really I can't wait. I'm really excited about Sunday. The cooking's it's it's cool because it's a way of life. There's people that live to cook or cook to live. 
You know, I always tell people, you know, my pots and pans, it's like, you know, it's like my guitar, you know, it's like I pour my soul into my food. I, I absolutely love what I do. That's it. That's the truth right there. Well, we appreciate you coming on and uh, what you do is um, inspiring and thank be, you. being the top cannabis chef and, uh, you know, representing <laughs> you. your background and yeah. representing your unique spin on the food. I think it's definitely, uh, you. you know, well deserved. So uh, congratulations yeah. on your win. Thank you for coming on High Times. I mean, excuse me. On uh, <laughs> Thank you for coming on Farm to Table Cannabis as the High Time Top Cannabis Chef. Yeah. And um, is there you anyone you want to give a shout out to? Well, of course, you know, I want to shout out my lovely mother back home who is holding down everything, getting the garden beautiful and green. Nice. Uh, Crispy Trees Kitchen, uh, Breaking Fractions, OMS Dab House, OMS Dab House Family, Native Made, Muffin Man. Uh, you know, I mean, God, who, who don't know? Everybody, chef, every Don goon Ye. with a spoon out there. Uh, you know, all, all my people, man. All my, and if I didn't mention you, you, you know, you know, you're on my mind. All of my supporters, all of the people uh, that come uh, every time. I mean, it doesn't matter that they they want the food. All the people that show up, the people that message me, everybody that's had their hand um, in helping this movement and helping me do what I do. I'm really grateful for you. I really appreciate. Every bit of support I get from you. And that's it. We love spotlighting that. And uh, that's going to conclude another episode of Farm to Table Cannabis on DFZ Radio. Thank you, Thank you to the sound the man, Saint. Thank you to everyone who called in and your winners of the Magical Butter Machine yeah. and all our sponsors all right. at DFZ Radio, General Hydroponics, and Botanicare, DFZRadio.com. Bye-bye. Feeling so high. Oh, that hydro. Hydro make me feel fine. Roll up that hydro. Hydro make me feel fine. Cook up that hydro. Hydro make me feel high. Feeling so high.